Hey guys, Super Retro Kid here. I am uh, back with another video. Uh, today, I well, actually, yesterday I received a package in the mail. Uh, what this is is this is a uh, Terra Onion uh, Neo SD flash cartridge for the the uh, Neo Geo MBS. So this comes from a company called Terra Onion. Uh, they're located in, in Andorra and it took a little while to get here but it arrived yesterday and it arrived in this nice MBS box MBS style box and then inside it had this bubble wrap around it so I took it out it looks pretty nice it's got the kind of like the middle the Metal Gear tank uh, behind their Neo SD uh, label here and then it's got the uh, the uh, Neo Geo MVS uh, cartridge connectors uh, one of the things I noticed about these connectors is they're not beveled and they're not uh, well actually I'm not sure how to tell whether or not they're hard gold or not I can't tell if they're Enig or what they are but they're definitely not beveled. And for those of you who don't know, what that means is uh, when you have like uh, higher production, like when you have like commercial production cartridges, instead of being just like, you know, a flat surface, they'll actually be tapered so that when you push them down into the uh, cartridge slot, they'll push the connectors and kind of separate them opposed to just having like uh, a, you know, uh, a harder uh, angle like these that'll just go in at full force. So when I first got this, um, I tried putting it in my uh, Neo Geo MBS, uh, my consoleized MBS, which is an MV1C. And what I found was I actually had to put it with the label backwards. And uh, when I first tried to put it in, I tried to put it label front ways or towards the front. And that caused me to uh, have to use a lot of force, which I thought can't be right. And then I remembered a YouTube video that I watched because this thing's pretty expensive. It's about $400. So, you know, I did some research before I bought it and I remember them talking about it being reversible because a lot of the MVS models are kind of where you like slide them in kind of like you would like a front loading uh, regular Nintendo. But like so my MV1C, since it goes in the top, it's actually, you know, the opposite of where you'd want the label if you had kind of a front loading one. So. Uh, the first thing that I did was I took it apart and uh, it's actually, re they actually make it so that it's reversible. There's one side that has the, uh, the blank and then another side that has the SD card cutouts. And I don't know what I did, but I can get, I, it lines up correctly down here, but I could not get it, the, S the micro SD card slot to line up correctly. So I ended up, you know, cutting out a little bit of the cartridge slot. It's probably not the correct thing to do, but you know, I guess this one's uniquely mine. And then um, what I also have here is I have a 32 gig micro SD card and um, 32 gigs is the maximum that the Neo SD supports. There's only like a, there's only like 150, 160 Neo or Neo Geo uh, games. And they're, they're bigger than like Super Nintendo or Genesis, but they don't have like MSU one or Sega CD or anything. So you don't need anything over a 32 gig SD card. And I would recommend just getting a 32 gig instead of trying to go smaller because a 32 gig SD cards only micro SD cards only like $9 anyway. So it doesn't really make sense to try to save it. 
so then uh, so the shipping took about uh, probably took about a month for this to arrive I'd say and uh, if you want to get a little quicker um, Stone Age Gamer also sells these but actually when I ordered mine Stone Age Gamer didn't have them in stock so I went directly from Terra Onion another reason that I wanted to go directly from Terra Onion is because uh, their firmware updates they actually lock down to the serial number and they do a support thing so I just thought it might be a little safer to buy it directly from them even though they fully honor you know doing firmware updates if you purchase it through uh, Stone Age Gamer as well. Uh, the only downfall of buying it directly from them is Stone Age Gamer does this thing where they have uh, complete versions where it'll come in like a beautiful case and stuff. So what I ended up doing was I found this website called uh, Southdown Homebrew Specialists. And they make these shock boxes, they're called. And what these shock boxes are, is they are uh, replacement cases for Neo Geo, AES, and MBS games. So they make these high quality cases. So I bought one of these, and then they also print labels. And they actually print a label, they actually have different labels you can select from that are specifically for multi cards like the like the Neo SD. So what I did here was I bought the uh, Metal Slug themed uh, Neo SD label with the shock box, and it was really cheap. I think it was only like I think it was only like fifteen twenty bucks for this thing. So if you buy a Neo SD directly from Terra Onion, I think it's a no brainer. I mean, it's using the same logo. It's I don't know. It's pretty sweet. I would, I actually would prefer this combination over over what Stone Age Gamer does. Except Stone Age Gamer is going to ship it, ship the Neo SD to you a lot faster. So that's the real advantage of going with Stone Age Gamer. So what I'm going to do, do now is I'm going to kind of uh, show you guys how to load up the SD card and get your games on on there before we fire it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to uh, get your files ready for the Neo SD. What you have to do is go to Terra Onion's website and download this Neo Builder UI tool. Uh, what this tool will do is you'll wanna take your main ROM set and you'll wanna select it as the destination directory. And then you'll wanna select a, a t empty target directory as your destination and what this will do is it will go through uh, this is just a small sample of this main ROM set this 0.185 non-merged and it will go through the files and any game that is a Neo Geo game it will convert to a .neo file the reason you need to convert them to .neo files is because that is the format that the Neo SD will recognize so here I'm just selecting my destination or my target directory and my destination directory. And then when I hit start, what it's going to do is it's going to go through and convert them all and I'll put them into this Neo SD folder. So here I'm going to fire it up and it just skips all of the ones that aren't Neo uh, Neo Geo uh, game Neo Geo games. So it's just going through them and it's converting the ones that are and spitting them out in that directory. And then in that missing ROM sets column, what it's going to do is it's going to list every Neo Geo game that it didn't find in your, uh, in your main ROM set. So since this is just a small sample of the main ROM set, it comes up with a bunch of missing ones. But if you had the entire ROM set, then it wouldn't come up with any missing files. So then once this is done, all you have to do is uh, take your uh, SD card. And I just bought a 32 gig SD card for my Neo SD. And I just formatted FAT32. And then I just copy these .neo files and just paste them onto your SD card and put it in your Neo SD. You should be ready to go. 
Okay, so now that we have the games on the SD card, we're going to stick the uh, Neo SD in our MVS or AES, depending on what version you have. Let me turn my TV on. I'm going to fire it up. So I'll, another thing to talk about that no one else really talks about is I'm uh, running UniBIOS. Uh, most people with MVS units run UniBIOS. I think in AES units, it might be a little more difficult to install a UniBIOS. Um, a UniBIOS allows you to like change the region, use cheats, you know, choose whether you're in arcade mode or, or uh, like home console mode. And uh, one of the things that I found that people don't really talk about online is if you go into like the release notes for like UniBIOS 4.0, uh, Razul uh, often, specifically in the release notes, Razul will the creator of Unibi or the cre creator of the Unibios, he'll reference the 161 in one flash cart from AliExpress, and he'll reference the Neo SD, where he doesn't talk about like Darksoft's multi cart, or I think there's a, I think there may be another multi cart. So if you run in UniBIOS, uh, it's my belief that Razul probably has a Neo SD. So if you run a Neo BIOS, Neo BIOS, or not Neo BIOS, UniBIOS, I would say that it's probably smart to go with the Neo SD versus Darksoft's cart, just for the the sheer fact that that's what Razul is using and that's what he's making. Uh, updates to is UniBIOS 4. So uh, the only real con of this uh, flash cart and all Neo Geo flash carts is the loading times. Uh, this, actu this flash cart actually has 100% compatibility. So you don't have to worry about any of the Neo Geo collection not working. Uh, the only thing to know is uh, Terra Onion's about to come out with a Neo SD Pro that will allow you to do uh, Neo Geo CD games, which this one is not capable of because it doesn't have as much RAM inside of it. And there's a few Neo Geo CD games that came out that were never released on regular Neo Geo. So if that's a big thing to you, or if there's a specific game that has different audio, you might want to wait for the Neo SD Pro. The Neo SD Pro is already out for the AES, but it's not been released for the MVS yet. So that wasn't really a big deal for me, so I just went with the Neo SD. And uh, all of the flash carts have loading times. So I'm gonna just kind of show you like currently the last game that I played was Neo Turf Masters. So if I fire that up right now, it's going to launch instantly because the Neo SD is already uh, programmed to believe that it is Turf Masters. But if I go in here and load up another game, we'll see, you know, what the loading times are like. And Neo Turf Masters is an awesome golf game. So, yeah, there's some pretty cool games on the Neo Geo. So I'm going to hit AD and, and uh, start all at the same time. I think it's start. Yep, and that'll take me back to the menu. And I'm on version 1.6 of the firmware, which is the newest version. And I'll show you kind of how the firmware stuff works. But first, I'm just going to show you an example of the loading time. So I'm going to switch from Neo Turf Masters to Baseball Stars 2. And one of the things you'll notice here is the al nice album art down here. I didn't do anything to populate that. That just happened when I used Neo Builder, set up these games. Another thing that you can do is you can, you can filter the games. So right now my genre is sports, but I can switch to action, sports. Uh, this is doing different devs, or maybe it's just, I guess it's just switching between how do I get out of this? Filter. 
So I guess it's just switching between action and sports. But then another cool thing that you can do. So I want to get rid of my filter. Another thing, cool thing you can do is you can go in here and actually favorite games. Like here, I favorited Baseball Stars too. So I'm probably what I'm going to do is I have a. I watched a YouTube video where they had like the top, you know, 100 games or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and favorite the ones that I'm interested in checking out. So that'll be a, like a mode of discovery for me. So if I fire up Baseball Stars, this will kind of show you what the loading is like. This actually seems like it's going pretty fast right now. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I got it. My recording got interrupted there. So that actually was a pretty fast loading. So, you know, at the most, I'd say it's probably like a couple minutes to load these games. So it's nothing, it's no like deal breaker. It's actually probably kind of a good thing because it kind of locks you into like really trying a certain game. So I'm gonna, so I hit A and D and start to get myself back out to the menu. And I thought the next thing that I'd kind of go over is how you do firmware updates. So when you receive your Neo SD, uh, what you have to do is you have to get your serial number. So if you hit the B button to go into options here, and uh, you know there's a, there's a few different options inside of here. One of the things that I did was I changed the boot mode so that when I turn on my Neo Geo, it boots to the menu instead of to the current game. But you could have it boot straight into the currently loaded game, or the la most recently loaded game. And then you can also toggle, you know, some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is like uh, redundant with UniBIOS. So, and then, but if you go down here to version, this is where you get your serial number for, um, for registering for their support to get firmware updates and stuff. So, the serial number is right here. I'm going to black mine out because I don't want anybody registering as me. I'll probably black out these other numbers too. But um, what you do then is you go to their support website or you go to Terra Onion's website and you click the support tab and you'll register. Uh, you'll register your uh, uh, Neo SD with its serial number and create yourself a login. And uh, that's actually spurred a lot of controversy because a lot of a lot of people don't like that you have to. Uh, I don't. I'm not really. Sh a lot of people are don't like it because in the in the beginning when they first released this, they made it so that it was really hard to sell your Neo SD and transfer it to another party. At at the time of making this video, they've changed it so that. Like if I log into my account right now, I can actually remove this particular Neo SD unit from my account so that it can then be sold and claimed by someone else registering an account, but they didn't used to do that. So a lot of people just think it's kind of a lame thing for them to do, but the reason that they lock it down uh, to where the, the firmware updates are, are tied to the serial number is there's been there's recently been a lot of a lot of these retro gaming devices that have been reproduced on aliexpress by people in other countries and sold for cheap um the ossc has been pirated or i don't know if you'd say that the ossc has been pirated since it's open source but the psio which is the optical drive emulator for the ps1 that's been knocked off the gdmu which is a optical drive emulator for the Dreamcast has been knocked off. Um, I'm sure there's other ones that I'm not aware of. It's just they're trying to protect their intellectual property. And I don't personally have a problem with that as long as they support these devices. If it gets to a point down the road where they don't want to do this anymore and they take down that website or something, I would hope that they would then open up the firmware. But I don't really have an issue with them doing it today because I think the 
devices like this that have been knocked off. I mean, I guess another example would be all of Crix's EverDrives. You know, they've all been knocked off by uh, manufacturers in other countries. So I really don't think that it's unreasonable for them to lock the firmware down to your specific serial number as long as they continue to support it. So uh, I don't think there's really any need for me to go to go and show you how to register for support on the website. Um, I could show you updating the firmware, but mine's, mine came preloaded on the newest firmware, so I can't really do that. Um, I just say like my final thoughts. Um, if you're into the Neo Geo, this is the device to get. I mean, these Neo Geo games are exorbitantly expensive and it's, it's very well, I could tell when I first got it, just this shell seems to be very well manufactured compared to like my 161 in one cart. It feels like an original production MVS cart. Um, the compatibility is 100%. You know, it wasn't that hard to get the games on it. Um, I think this case by uh, Southtown uh, Homebrew Specialist is awesome. And I would just highly recommend it. You know, the SD card is not that expensive. And you know, uh, I would say the only real uh, thing to think about before you do this is now that Mr. has a Neo Geo Core, do you, how you it's kind of how much do you care about Neo Geo? Like all in at this point, you know, I've got 400 bucks in the Neo SD with 100% game compatibility. I've got about 450 into my consoleized MBS. You know, I spent another 40 bucks on the Unibios, got some Neo Geo CD controllers. I mean, all that stuff adds up. So I'm probably at like, I'm probably like a thousand dollars in where if you just were into accurate uh, Neo Geo, um, you could just set up a mister for like 300 bucks, load up their Neo Geo core and it's supposed to be pretty good today and it's only going to get better. It plus who knows what else you'll get on the mister and enjoy. So kind of the question is, you know, how into Neo Geo are you? I mean, to me, it's for to me, the big, the big value in this is just being able to come in here and just turn the thing on and play, you know, and being true to how it was, you know, they still haven't really figured out like uh, how they're ha how exactly they're going to handle controllers on Mister. Um, they're still using USB, and there's uh, I don't know I'm not gonna, I don't know how many frames of lag is through the they have through the USB input, but it hasn't quite been the I/O on the Mister hasn't been quite ir ironed out, but. You know, it's, it's a matter of personal taste, but I would definitely give the Neo SD a thumbs up. And uh, I think that Terra Onion is a good company and I don't really have a problem with how they do the firmware. The only thing is I wish that they would bevel their cartridge connectors and make them out of uh, hard gold. And I also have a Mega SD on the way from Terra Onion. And I'm kind of curious to see how that turns out because some people have said they're beveled, some have said they're not. But I'll be doing another video on that. So this is Super Retrocade. Thanks for watching.